Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2003 Career Mode. It is time for Darlington, the track too tough to tame, the lady in black. And we are going to be heading into it with a throwback pain scheme in honor of Dale Earnhardt Sr., which I think looks pretty cool. So, we're going to go ahead, uh, let's see, did I do all the things? Oh no, that's right, we need to make our decision on this, did we not? Yeah, well, pretty much unanimous decision by you guys. Uh, a couple differing opinions, but uh, the convincing argument, especially from Mr. McBlam, was that I need tire wear going forward at some of these tough tracks. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to hit this for 300 so that it's done faster. We're gonna get our tire wear under control and then after that we'll think about speed or you know maybe wind tunnel or something like that but uh, we do have better engine efficiency that's awesome and our overall stats are going up which is good but uh, yeah sponsorship again remaining five of nine races all right cool we don't have to worry about that for a while but anyway yeah let's head on into Darlington All right, guys, been tweaking this setup, doing a little practicing. Let's go ahead and get out and qualify and see what we have. I'm not super sold that we're gonna have an amazing lap, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm uh, I'm riding without the, the auto brake on this one because it was definitely bogging me down too much. I also tried turn off the stability control but we still need we still need at least some of that because I was spinning out of control okay that's uh-huh I'm aware of that crew chief that was not intended fifth though <laughs> well done yeah. much better one and two don't mind running down a little low on that part. I think we get away with it in one and two. It's just three and four is really, really hard. Ah, I slowed down way too much. Okay, this lap's not going to be better for sure, but, um, hmm. Just don't know if we have the balance quite right yet, but I'll take a top five star any day. <laughs> that was our best lap, too. Uh, hmm. Alright, what can we do to help that? Um, uh, we don't have our tire pressure in yet, so let's not to get too greedy at the race. But, um, like that, and then, not like that. Eh, let's go with that. We'll see how that goes for us. And, uh, yeah. Let's begin. Every weekend. The Delphi car has an average finish in the top ten at the Speedway so far. Man, he is amazing. And what a boost towards the championship that gives him. You don't even need that many wins if you're finishing in the top ten every week. Hey, Ken. Yeah. Didn't know if they were going to talk about me this time, but they and did. Here's the starting Gotta be real careful off into this first turn. Oh, right. Mr. McGlam was telling me on the starts they get a little bunched up sometimes. Gotta be ready for that on restarts too. <laughs> right, I gotta get up speed here. And see what we have for these guys, if if anything. No 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 no. Okay. You know, this is exactly what I was talking about during uh, during the stream. Is that um, I was I wasn't sure if it was this this game where I was remembering that from, but if you pancake the wall just right so that it doesn't destroy your car and grind in, it cuts just enough speed off that you can make it through the corner and you, you gain a lot of time. But we can't do that all the time, or we will definitely destroy our car. wasn't a great bit of turns there. I really would like to free up more, but the problem is then one and two might not be so great for us. 
That's not so great for us anyway, but we'd be really, really loose in 1 and 2 if I free it up enough for 3 and 4. That's the problem. Always the problem here, don't I? Wow, the run that he just got. Frick you, dude. On the nuts. See, I hit it way too hard that time, but it was because of the way I entered making contact with him. Okay, we're not kissing the leaders like this, that's for sure. Definitely better than us in one and two. No doubt about that. Okay, that was pretty bad. What could we do? What could we do? Let's go ahead and look at that really quickly for our pit options. Um, hmm. I guess we could try a bit more grip and then another round down or a half round down and just hope for the best, I guess. Not sure what else to do. like I'm just going to be fighting them off the whole time while the leaders just drive away. That's what it's feeling like. It, it, it was close. Almost hooked me into the wall there. I guess I should say I almost drove across his nose. It was more my fault than his, but... Mm, gosh. Yeah, they're just going to be all over me this whole race, I bet. It's not fun. Oh, no. See, when I do that, though, look how well I get out of the corner. <clears throat> it's hard to plan for that, though. Without destroying your freaking car in the process. Doing it one and two is not, not good. Ah, this place is tough, though, for sure. It's too tough to tame. If I do it that way, though, where I don't hit the wall, I don't really gain anything, and he gets a huge run coming down the straightaway. Ah. I don't want to keep pancaking it off the wall. It's just not safe. Not like I have no damage or anything. This, is, this damage does add up. Too much for holding on to third. Yeah, yeah. I, I hit it too hard that time. Messed up and had to do the quick repair thing. Hmm. Not time for pits yet. Yeah. Uh no. No, we can't pit for sure. You should be about halfway on view. Good I though. Go, go, go. I'm not I'm not getting to take advantage of their choking up starts because I'm choking up too, apparently. All choked up guys. Yeah. Jimmy Johnson. Right, dude. <laughs> Gotta stop doing that. I'm not gonna get away with it. I'm gonna keep having the problem I was having before there. Bringing out cautions and destroying my car in the process. It's just so useful if you can get good finishes early in the season to gain a lot of money, you know, so that you can upgrade a bunch, but... Survived, but... We did a big run.
What do you do? Want a little breathing room. That's all I ask for. <sighs> Didn't even try to do it that time. Oh boy. I knew this was going to be really, really hard though. Three and four here is just freaking brutal. There's just really no good way of... Ah, okay. Well, that gave me some breathing room. But, um, there's just no good way to get through three and four. It really isn't. One thing's for sure, the fuel R&D is pretty good for us. I mean, we're definitely past halfway, and we don't have to worry about that too much. But we're going to be pitting with them right on top of us, probably, which is not fun to think about. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do something crazy. Y'all are going to lose your minds because I did it, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably a dumb idea, but we're going to do it. What I don't need is him ramming me over the speed limit. Like that. Oh, it was 70. I slowed down way too much. So we probably give away whatever advantage we were going to get from two tires, but whatever. I don't, I don't really care at this point. I don't feel like we're probably going to have a chance at any, even probably at a top five at this point. I gave up too much time coming to pit road. I've damaged my car and now I'm taking two tires, which is only going to make things worse, but ah, whatever. I just want to get through this race because it was going to be next to impossible either way. Frick, did he get up to speed that much on the freaking lower part like that? <sighs> Definitely don't want to do anything to bring out a caution while we're a lap down. We're way off the pace now. So much for our that plan, huh? We're not even going to be in the top five. Taking four. Now we're just going to fall and fall and fall, it looks like. No, we got back to fifth there, but we're not going to keep it. Not these guys breathing down our necks like this. Just keep roughing them up, but that's not going to last forever. And my car is going to get worse and worse. Here we go. We do stuff like that, but that's a pretty cruddy way to drive. dirty driver I guess if I want to hang on but still freaking 10 laps to go I'm yeah. <laughs> nah. I don't see this happening guys don't see this happening cars falling apart the seams right now
Uh, well, I knew this career mode was going to be hard, for sure. Ah, uh, there goes our top five. I'm never catching him now. He's gone. Could have ran into him. Hmm, alright, well, at least we'll kill some laughs on this caution, I guess. Something. Maybe they'll get all wadded up at the beginning and I might have a chance. Probably not. Uh, yeah, he killed a couple laps. That'd be good for our fuel situation. Yeah, see, the thing is, is they do, but my car's so slow that I don't actually benefit from them bunching up. Look, then they just take right off and they're gone. Uh. Alright, Tony. Have to rough you up too. Keep the spot. We're gonna get one. Don't you worry about that. Okay, there's Tony. Don't know if we can hang on to a top ten, but we'll try. Just having to ram into people to hang on to a top 10. Look at that, how fast they just catch right back up because I'm so slow. Ah, uh, that's funny. Yay, white flag. Maybe I can hang on to this long enough to finish 7th. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Let's go. Nope, and go seventh. Okay, well, eighth. Eighth is a thing that happened at a really hard race. Oh well, we'll take it. <laughs> oh man, that's not what I was wanting, but whatever. Definitely destroyed our car in the process. We oh, usually well. have more cautions than that, don't we? Well, I can assure you, all those guys who <laughs> finish the getting back, so mad at me. <sighs> Three hundred sixty-one thousand. We're gonna spend all that and freaking build new cars. <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Whatever, indeed. We just take it. We move on, right? We accept what happens, and uh, we know that. Eventually, we'll be getting more money and more sponsorship opportunities, and yeah. All right, so okay, we better build a new engine first of all. Uh, let's see. Sell this one. Same for the Chaz. Oh, they're still building that. It's one race. Okay. Get rid of that one. Alright. Oh, car. Car. Changed car? Okay. There we go. Uh, but we can put in a better engine. Yeah, that one. We only have the one. Alright. So that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's all fine. 
And next race will be Bristol, which I want to say would be a good one for us, but slow as we are, definitely the next thing I do has to be the engine upgrade. We are really slow, and I mean, handling is great, but we are so slow. Um, Alright, so yeah, let's look at our standings. I guess we can do that real quick. We are fourth in the points, which isn't bad, really. We're the highest placed rookie, for sure. Uh, let's see. We didn't really get anything from that. But we are leading rookie of the year. So there we go. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of crazy. And Pontiac's still at the bottom. Well, that happens. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Oh, and we... Oops be switching back to a different paint job going into the next race where was the one that we just did the other time this one right yeah all right and yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode if you enjoyed hammer that like button share with your friends subscribe if you're new join wolf back and i'll see you guys bye you can tell a story but i can't deal